So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome back to Astronia. So we are heading straight back into this game for a part two guys, and I'm starting off from the menu because I mean, how can you not? Look how beautiful this thing is, and just that soundtrack? <laughs> For this part, the goal is to investigate even more caves, hopefully travel further as well with the tethers. And then I want to try and find a vehicle, guys, after all of that, because I know the fragments are scattered around in their masses. We've got to find more wreckages and get exploring those and find the different bits and get them back to base. And also, now that we have that research station, we can research a lot more things <laughs> and understand this planet. Let me just get up to a nice high point because I want to look for some mountains. We have some over in that direction right there. We've got some wreckage there, which I haven't investigated. That is probably key. What I should do is actually assign myself to investigate wreckages as the primary thing for at least the start of this episode. Hopefully be able to build up some vehicles, things like that. Actually, do you have a vehicle bay? Uh, I don't think I... I don't, do I? So for the vehicle bay, we need to find ourselves some aluminum. So what we're going to be doing then is heading over to this guy. So let's make some progression, guys, and I'll join you back once I'm nearer to the wreckage. So that's all the tethers done. We also have another oxygen supply. So we've got two times the amount we used to have before. But here is the wreckage. Do we have any goodies around here? We have all little parts around here also that we can pick up. I'm not really sure what this could be used for. Let's dig this guy out. Hold up, we have something right here. We have to research this apparently. So let's drop this down and now we can take this guy and take it back to our research station. Pop this guy in there and now we need to research it. So we need some power We should have enough to make it over there and back with the oxygen supply that is so I'm gonna go under that pretense and hopefully not die Here we go And I think there's some power also to my left So I've got a few slots in my backpack too I could probably get a load of this on my route How many of these do I actually need though to fuel the uh, the research center is it two lots? I think I have three now. So this is more power awesome All right, we have loads of power now then so we can carry this one back I think maybe as well we get a little bit heavier as we actually carry more and more things in our backpack. So let's go back over to the research station and let's learn what the heck this device is right here. It's definitely made from the astronauts, as we can tell. Here we go. It is now engaging. All right. How will we use this thing? What is going on? What do we have? Come on, reveal it to me. That is sweet, man. That is friggin' sweet. So we still need to get the vehicle bay, but we have the possibility now to build ourselves a friggin' truck once we buy it. In that cave over there as well, there was a load of ore. So I think what I need to specialize or think about building at least is some more of these little pods right here. I'm going to actually do it in the other direction. Let's get like a triangle of different things going on right here. There we go. All right, now we need to find ourselves even more resin. You can kind of see as well that I've learned some of the tricks of the trade as I've been going. Now I understand how we can progress in this game to an extent because these planets are humongous in their scale. And I just, I just want to see, guys. It's, I, I want to know. I want to know. Let me know. Come on. So here is our two pieces of resin. This is now going to form into a building platform and let's see so we've got the printer the research station we do not need another one of those we need this so we need a compound where can we get the compound from i think maybe it might be this just here and if we can get two lots of that then we are good to go come here yes let's get all of this compound oh yes there's one lot we need a second lot now we have it that's it so now let's head back over we'll build the smelter this gives us more of an opportunity to go back into that cave with a little bit more certainty get like the look what well, we could get aluminum or two i know that was a thing also down there here we go this is now where the progression is really starting man oh, goodness me this is so cool ah Build that smelter. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna need to power this guy too. As you can see, it's got zero power. So let's just do that now. We'll take one of these and we'll place it into our smelter. So just one single lot of power is enough to power the smelter. So I guess we'd, what we'd do is we'd place like the aluminum or things like that in there. Do I have any right now? I do not. Thankfully, I've placed these tethers in such a way where I know where the cave is. So I'm heading straight back there, past the wreckage, and then I'm gonna go and get some of those, hopefully, aluminum ores. And that English was terrible, but don't judge me, guys, because I'm gonna lie to you and say it was intentional. And I can't edit that, so now I've sealed my fate. Damn it. What are we looking for? We are looking for the ore. I believe these two right here to be ore itself. So that's fuel. We do not need that. This is aluminum ore. So let's collect some of this guy, hopefully enough to form maybe two lots of this. Is that enough? Hold up. Not quite. So close though. So freaking close. There we go. So now we have two lots of that. And I think what I might also try and find is some copper ore. Maybe? I don't know if there'll be any down here, but it's definitely worth looking for. Actually, I want to know what the- Oh! 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 We have a boulder with loads of little mini spikes on it. And it is unknown and we can definitely research that. Was that underneath that? Hold on. Let me just go a little bit lower down here. Let's go a little bit further in. Let's see what's in this direction. So, I wonder if there'll be something at the bottom of- Listen. Anything at the bottom? There's another one here, so 
I guess this is like different elements where we can research them. This is where we need the vehicle though, for sure. So we can take more of those guys back. Because one, they weigh us down a shed ton. And two, well, that way we can literally take like two or three of these things at once to uh, figure out whatever's inside them. So we'll put this one there for now. Let's go and get some more fuel whilst we're still down here. That's what's good about this. As you're mining, you can simply collect more fuel and then keep on going without having to worry about running out. Do I go deeper into the cave? Let me just look down here. How big is the drop? It looks kind of kind of large in scale, I'm going to be honest. And all of that fog as well. Yeah, that's a big drop. For now, before we end up getting lost down here, let's head back to base because then we could build the vehicle bay, learn what we need to get the vehicles with, and then make a plan of action. And let's take one of these things to research too. But the question is... Which one? The dull looking one that has no color to it, or the vibrant one with loads of weird, like, spiky hairs? Hmm. I'm actually gonna take this one right here. We can come back and grab the spiky head looking one as time goes on. But let's carry this back to base. I'll cut back, guys. We'll get researching this guy and then mounting down some ore, too. This is cool. So the smelter is fully powered up right now. Let me go into my backpack and use the lacerize and just see if this is the right thing to do. Let's do that. Here we go. There goes the first one. It does do exactly what I thought it might do, although... Wait, wait, where's my second one? Is it not done yet? Wait, no, it was finished. So we got two aluminum from that. At least we've, I guess, powered that guy back up for the next time we use it. Now, this is where we can build our vehicle bay. So absolutely fantastic. Let's put one right there. Now we're going to build the vehicle bay. And it's as simple as clicking that right there. And here we go. <laughs> and we know about the truck too and how to make it. So there we have it. It's got no power again. So a lot of this game is about supplying power to the things around you. Let's do that right now then. So that's now fully powered up. If we go over to the vehicle bay, do we have to click on this guy or something? So let's select it or... Wait, how do we do this? Uh, let me go over it with some aluminium and see if it will just be like, cool. Yeah, put that on me and we'll see what happens, dude. You know what? I'm confused. I'm confused. For now, I'm just going to put this guy on here and I'm going to learn a bit about whatever this thing is and what we can gain from it, I guess. So now this one is being analyzed. Also, okay, that thing has also changed when I had my back to it. But let's see what's going on here. We learn about filters. Okay, that's interesting. What could we use a filter for? Like water? I mean, we don't need food or anything to survive. What? Hmm, not really sure, but the arm has now extended out of the vehicle bay. We can build the truck right here, or the a shuttle. This, this right here, this is how we go from planet to planet, guys. So, we have unlocked the ability to eventually do that. We can build the rover, the truck, or of course, the shuttle. I think what I might do is I might actually build the truck. I understand now how to break down the aluminum right over here. Well, I, wait, I moved it over here somewhere, didn't I? Where is it? You see, you have one aluminum already on there, so we know how to do that, and that might be a hefty investment of my time to get like a truck because I guess the truck is better than the rover so now that we're back down here the first thing I'm going to be doing is getting this guy right here there's a lot of aluminum ore this might provide us with hopefully three or is it going to give us like two going to give us two you're going to be like that dude there we go so there is two we only already need just one more we can see it coming through the rocks right there we got to be close dude we got to be close all right let's keep going got to be close man wait for it come on come on give me just enough come on Yes, there we go. Now we have three lots of that. We don't need the one on the end right there, but we do have some copper ore right here. I'm not sure what we can use that for. What is that? Malachite? Malachite? That's a strange one. So we've got some malachite, so we've got only one in our inventory right there. We don't have enough room for any more. Maybe whilst I've made this progress, I should go back. Is that something I can research? I mean, we're going to take this with us. This one's a different style of rock to the one I was originally going to take back. So let's run back to base with this now then. A lot of this seems to be tailored towards finding out the different elements on this planet. So this one right here, goodness knows knows what it's going to entail for me, but I now have enough to build the truck. I'm not sure if it can actually be driven because I need to find like a seat and things like that. So we are now back at base. So I'm going to place this guy there. We don't quite have enough to research it, which is a little bit of a shame. This guy is still fully powered up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place all of the ore on here. I guess I could do the copper ore too, just to get that guy all done. We have space for four in total. We're going to get this guy moving. Let's just see how well it does. There is one. There is two. There is three. So wait, is that near enough? Perfect. I'm gonna put one more guy in there. Just give it some power and I guess I can pull this away at any given time I think we're actually good. Let me just see. Yeah, I think we're good So there's the copper right there So we're gonna supply the power to this guy right here just to power that guy up fully. Let's just research it It better be something good. Please be something good Please don't mean I've wasted my time and I could have took the other one and wait. What is that? We got some titanium, dude all right, I don't know what we can use this for, but we're going to place that guy just there for now. It's a rare. So we are definitely progressing. There is the fourth and final one right there. We're going to build this truck and we are not going to look back. So here we go. It's almost like a 3D printer, the way it builds it from the ground upwards. Apart from clearly more advanced because how's it building over here? I have my first of a vehicle. Allow me to just... Can I stand on this? Ah, this feels good. This feels good. Drive, vehicle. Drive! 
I can't drive it. Now, what I'm actually going to do is get looking for any more wreckage. That's what I should have done probably from the start. We have some here. We should have enough oxygen to get to and from. I mean, I've got tethers, so I guess if worse comes to one, though, that's really not going to help. I should have really laid those down before. This has loads of good stuff, and what is that beautiful thing I see right there? It's almost ironic, isn't it? But dig this guy out. <laughs> You're coming back to base with me, man, boy. Thank you, previous astroneer who is now dead. I will take your seat, and I will use it to my own advantage without even considering you. Apart from the thanks I just offered you before, but you know. That's it, guys. We are here, so we can now place the car seat right on there. Can we ride it? How do we... We can do it. We can do it. You know what? Before anything, I'm going to tap in this guy. We're saving that progress, dude. This is good. So I can sit in my car like so, but as you can see, what I need to do... I can also save my game inside of this vehicle. That's kind of cool. So if I'm, like, stranded somewhere, I guess I could save it quickly. I do have some hydrazine right here. So, I mean, is this guy sufficient enough to power the rover? I mean, it makes sense why it would be, right? Put that there. Is that working? Hold up. Is it powering up on the side? What else can we use that for? Is that specific type of fuel for getting off of the planet? Like, yeah, we can't drive this. There's nothing we can do to activate it. We need power to run this then. So fuel is definitely for the space shuttle. This is exactly what we're looking for here. We need to gather as much of this as we possibly can. I'm going to get a few lots before I end up going back because I want to make sure I can run this guy and drive it. And I'm not going to run out of fuel anywhere. So let's put the power sources on this guy. It's definitely charging it, as you can see right there. A second one and also a third one. We want to supercharge this guy up fairly well. Now that we have power, look at this. We can drive it, dude. <laughs> yes. And it actually covers a load of ground pretty efficiently. So very bouncy. But look, look, now we can travel. I'm not even scared about going too far from my rover. I can just exit back out very, very quickly. And there is a lot of oxygen scattered around to so just absorb some. And I am good. Let's scale this mountain. Let's do it. Oh, we are kind of climbing. We're getting a little bit of traction right here. Just about enough. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. You can do it. We're getting nothing. So we could probably climb up this way, I guess. It'll probably take a little bit longer. However, there is like a snowy cave just up here. Please don't crash and burn. Let me just get back in you for now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, 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 self-parking. Please be a thing. Thank goodness it was. Come on, 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 come on. Let's climb, come on. <laughs> We've done it, guys. We have scaled to the top of this place. This is so... Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is beautiful, man. We are literally amongst the... Wait, is this a new material up here? Wait, what is this guy? Hold up. Can we absorb this? Let me just see. I don't think we can, although that actually sounded different. Like it was meant to sound like snow. That is so awesome, man. This is probably one of the highest points on the mountain, I can presume. I mean, we definitely are stupidly high up right here. We can see a load and everything down below. But that was really, really awesome to do and worth doing, especially just for like a personal thing. So now we're going to head back down here. Is that hurting us? That sounds like it's kind of hurting our feet. Ow, yeah, that's hurting us. There's a load of power scattered around on a fairly regular basis, so you're never really going to run out. So we can really get investigating the different places. And I guess, what about if we travel to, like, a new planet, though? Will we have to, like, start again? That will kind of suck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head up over to this little bit of wreckage here. I want to see if there's any goodies there. And then after that, I want to head back to the base because I want to see how we can build that other shuttle thing. I think for episode three, the plan is going to be maybe leave this place and traverse to a totally new planet planet. That would be so awesome, man. Let's scale this guy. Yes, we got this. We have got this indeed. We have even more wreckage right here. We got another seat and we have what appears to be two lots of copper. We'll take the seat. Let's just like drop it down there for now. I think that will land close to our vehicle. We'll do the same with the copper. Drop that guy there. Drop this one here. And what's this one here? That is titanium. Even more rare resources. All right, let's take the second seat and just see firstly, can we equip this on here? Of course we can. All right, we've got loads of different goodies right here. We can potentially drive in any direction we want as well. So I mean, yep, literally we can. We can invent the way our vehicle drives and whoa. Okay, gotta be careful, man. Don't be doing that, stupid. So how do I even like begin to operate this thing? Left click, right click, jump, enter. Does it need full power to even move? Let me try and power this guy up full. There we go. So it has to just have simply full power before anything else can be used of it. So let's go over to the shuttle. All we need is just compound. Are you kidding me? That's super easy to get. I've not really found a use for the titanium. It's a rare, but I mean... If it's a rare, what can we build? Something rare and awesome with it? For now, I'm just going to take off all of the little bits right here, and I'm going to leave them near the base. We'll put the other bit of titanium just there. We don't need the seat on there. We'll pop that guy there. So in the meantime, I think I might go back out in the rover, find some compound, come back, and then we're actually going to make a start and build on that. Oh, okay. Well, 
Easy there, Tiger. All right, so we're going to park back up. I went and got the compound, guys. It was a pretty boring process, to be honest. So I'm going to not include that. We're going to pop these guys all in here anyway. Let's see the progression happen. So one, then we'll get a second one. Third one there. Fourth one as well, right mm -hmm. there. And then we can simply build the shuttle like so. Here we are, man. This is how we're eventually going to escape this place and get exploring the galaxy. Oh, my goodness. So there we go. Now, what else can we need? What is this? Is that fuel? One fuel right like so. Oh, we need a load of fuel in order to get off this planet then. I think as well there's enough space for the seat right on top, or maybe there's enough space for two seats. That's how we're going to get off here. So let me just sit in this guy. Let me see what happens. Saving our game. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy on there for now. We are not going to be doing that. We do not have much fuel at all. I believe we can get fuel in various places though. So I think for now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one an episode. We're not going to take off for this one. That will be absolute chaos in itself. And I have no idea what to expect. Thank you for watching this episode though, guys. If you did enjoy it, why not drop me that like button? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.